high blood sugar levels can be lowered through exercise. But which kind is going to give you the best results? Well, if you're not exercising right now and you have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, you're missing out on this mechanism known as contraction stimulated glucose uptake, which basically turns your muscles into glucose sponges. There are two main forms of exercise. Number one, resistance training, and number two, cardiovascular training. Resistance training refers to lifting weights, doing body weight exercises, or doing resistance bands. And cardiovascular training is anything that elevates your heart rate for a sustained period of time such as brisk walking, dancing, biking, swimming, and so on. So any form of exercise is going to turn your muscles into glucose vacuums so they can absorb more glucose that is circulating in the bloodstream. This is a good thing. It's going to lower your blood sugar. The key difference is that cardiovascular training is kind of like turning on your vacuum when you want to clean your carpet. And doing resistance training is the difference between having a $20 vacuum or a $300 vacuum. So both are important, but resistance training is going to give you powerful vacuums. So whenever you turn them on, you can go ahead and suck up more glucose from the bloodstream. I am an exercise physiologist that has been helping people with diabetes for the last 10 years of my life. And I made a free resistance bands routine so you can start doing resistance training at home. Go ahead and comment bands below so I can send it your way. And if you're watching this on TikTok, click on our picture and you're going to see that link to download it.